What if I told you that if you stick with me for the next 10 minutes, I could give you a free pass into the lives of certain women that you absolutely must avoid dating. You'll save yourself a lifetime of heartaches, waste of time, money, effort, and most importantly, your love. Stay with me. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you eight types of women you shouldn't date. They'll make you miserable. They'll play a high press to force the mistakes. They'll dominate the aerial ball. They're too tall. We'll handle the pressure and smash them on the break. The number nine has scored in their last five games. The passing will be quick, decisive, precise. There will be drama in the dying minutes. This match will mean more than three points. They will have the home ground advantage. This is why I bet. This is why I bet. This is why I bet. Betway. Welcome back, Jessica here. So yeah, in today's video, we're gonna jump right in. I mean, listen, sometimes you go into a relationship expecting the best, um, probably not anticipating that anything would go wrong, but then you realize quite early on in the relationship that, hmm, there are some things that just don't add up. The woman isn't being straight with you. There's some things that seem a little off. You're in two minds, really, as to what to believe, where she's concerned. Does she really love you or is she in for selfish reasons? In this video, I'm gonna be highlighting eight types of women that you absolutely must avoid dating if you want your sanity, really, because they'll make you miserable. Jumping in straight to woman number one, the spendthrift. Now we all know how spendthrifts are, honestly. They wanna spend on everything. Meanwhile, most likely what they're spending is not even money that they have earned themselves. They want to spend your money. They are uncaring. They're not thoughtful. All they want is, I want this here and now, and you as my man need to be the one to provide it. If you're not able to provide it, chances are she will throw a fit to make you feel bad about it and so much more. If you ask me, and especially if you're a guy who's still trying to figure out your life, you know, yeah, your life is on course, but you're not there yet. And you're looking for a woman you can actually take seriously, then you should avoid that woman who's just making you spend without thinking. Yes, she needs everything in the world when she sees you and she's not willing to contribute on any kind of level. Number two, the liar. This is a no brainer. If you're always with a woman who never tells you the truth or tells you half truths or tells you what they call white lies, then you need to be cautious. I'm not saying don't date her, but I'm saying approach this dating game with serious caution. Listen, I don't actually think that I need to say too much where this is concerned because no one wants to be with a liar. You know, how are you gonna trust her? How are you gonna entrust your life to her? This is someone that hopefully if you settle down with, you're gonna be spending the rest of your life with, sleeping next to. If you cannot trust her in the things that she says she will do, then what's the point? It's a no-brainer. Number three, the chronic flirt. Now these women are all over, all over the place, literally. Turn your back and she'll most likely be flirting with every Tom, Dick, and Harry, including your best friends. How do you trust a woman who can't even stay true to you? Now you see, everybody likes to flirt every now and again, ever so often. But the reason why chronic flirts are a problem is they easily invite every Tom, Dick and Harry into their lives and end up in very tricky situations where she's gonna have to choose between you and these other guys she's flirting with on a regular. It's just a matter of time before someone else returns that same energy and they find themselves in a compromising situation. You should not trust women who just flirt with anybody because typically when you meet a woman who really likes you, she has no time for anybody else. She may be polite with people, with other guys, but as far as flirting is concerned, that will be completely out of her books. And so be very cautious, be very wary. You know, for such a woman, flirting is a game and she doesn't stop until she gets burnt. And usually when she gets burnt, that means that your relationship will be in jeopardy and a broken heart for you is imminent. Avoid her like a plague. She'll make you miserable. Number four is the materialistic woman. Now she places value on possessions as opposed to people. The danger with people like that is they will be willing to give you up at the slightest opportunity, especially when someone else who has bigger, higher, nicer resources approaches them. 
and tempt them with it. When you date a woman who doesn't value other human beings and all she values are the things that she can acquire with or without her money, then you should look at this person again closely. Why? Because one day she's going to sacrifice you, your love, and everything else to acquire more material things from someone who's willing to give them. Don't get me wrong. Everybody likes to acquire the finer things in life. However, there has to be some kind of a limit. You know, moderation should be the key word here. If she will go every single length just to acquire material things without taking your feelings, your thoughts um, into consideration, then this is not a woman you want to settle with. Number five, the what's mine is mine type of woman. And I know women play around with this a lot. And most of the women who say that do not even take themselves seriously. As in, they say that just in jest. But there's some women who actually act it out. You know, like, what's mine is mine, but what's yours is ours. And you know, women say that a lot, but I don't believe in that. You know, I believe that it's a partnership. I believe that it's an agreement to be together, to love each other, to commit to the relationship you're trying to form. So if you meet a woman who's not willing to share her life with you, share her possessions with you, share her time with you, and it's always me, 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 then you are in big trouble. She's never going to be thoughtful enough to put your needs ahead of hers at any point in time. And you see, if any relationship is going to succeed, it will take a bit of compromise from both parties. Now, if you go ahead with this woman, you're going to be the one who's always compromising to make things happen in the relationship because she may feel like she shouldn't be doing any kind of work. And instead, you should be working hard to keep her love, to maintain her. Any woman who tells you that, and I'm not talking about those who joke around with, you know, the whole saying, what's mine is mine, what's yours is ours kind of thing. I'm talking about people who actually live it. Go ahead and show you that. Listen, I'm not going to share this with you. My money doesn't take care of a man. If you want something, go get it. I'm not going to buy that for you. Then you need to be really careful. She does not care about you. She just cares about herself. And she really is in this relationship for what she can get from you and has no contribution whatsoever to make. Number six is the insecure woman. Have you ever dated someone who's insecure? Oh my God. It is physically, emotionally, and mentally draining. They're insecure about everything. She will not allow you to have female friends. She will not allow you to um, engage with anybody. If you're on your phone, she's busy looking into it to see who you're chatting with, you know, and that kind of thing. Now, listen, if you are that guy who's contributing to her insecurity, then stop it. As in, if there are things that you are doing to make her feel insecure, then you want to check yourself. But if she's naturally insecure and there are people like that, like they just do not trust anybody. They feel like everybody else is out to get them. They feel like every woman who as much as looks their guy's way, wants to snatch you know the guy from them then you need to be careful because it's unhealthy you know and that level of insecurity is very very uh, damaging it could put a strain on your relationship a strain on your love and everything else that matters to you insecurity is ugly and it's just a matter of time before you get fed up with all the shenanigans a woman who's insecure yeah is not a woman that you should date she will make you miserable Number seven, the beauty only woman or the narcissist. Now this is usually a person who is so in love with themselves and they have an inflated sense of self-importance. With such people, they're very hard to please. They always think that they are the bee's knees. The sun literally shines out of their behinds and they're not willing to come down to anybody else's level. They look down on people, they're entitled, and have a constant excessive need for admiration from those around them. It's unhealthy. And besides, you can't always be singing her praises, even if she's someone who has really done well for herself. She should be able to exercise some form of level-headedness. If you date such a woman, in your relationship, you're always going to have to make her feel important. They thrive on that stuff. And I'm sorry, you're always going to pale in comparison when it comes to her. In the circles in which she moves, in the way she understands love, it's always going to be about her, how she looks, how she feels, how important she is and should be in the relationship. She will never put you on the same pedestal as herself because she sees you as beneath her. How can you date a woman who does not even see you as a co-equal? 
that's really going to be a problem. And it wouldn't take any level of intuition to know that from the start, from the get-go. Narcissistic people can be very difficult to be around, especially if you're not that kind of person who is ready to sing their praises. And a narcissistic woman is no different. And finally, the woman who tells you, I am not ready. Yes, she's heard you, you want to take the relationship to the next level, but she is not ready. You know, a lot of times I feel like a lot of guys shoot themselves in the foot where a woman tells you, listen, I'm not ready for this. And yet they're willing to sort of push to see how far they can go. And they feel like their persistence will actually get them to go further with this woman. It's so far from the truth, you see, because it's very hard for people to be honest with you. And not a lot of people will actually be honest with you every single time. And so if you meet a woman who actually can open her lips and tell you, listen, I know where you're going with this. I know you want a relationship, but I'm not ready to do this. Don't date her. Don't go ahead and say, you know what? I know you're going to come around. So let's just jump in and see where this goes. If she tells you she's not ready, believe her. I've had guys in my DM all the time saying, Jess, you know, my girlfriend or this girl that I really like, she gives me all the signals and yet I shot my shot and she turned me down saying she's not ready. If she's not ready, believe her. Don't even push it. Don't lose sleep over it. And you'll come back and thank me later. I hope my explanations for these eight types of women are clear. I hope they're helpful. Let me know whether you agree or disagree with me in the comments below. And if you like the video, you know what to do. Smash the like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications. I'll appreciate that. My name is Jessica. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.